Now that you're logged into the database, we're going to practice searching and using the tools. So we are all going to search for one of my favorite musicians, the guitar player, Jimi Hendrix. So everyone enter J-I-M-I -I space H-E-N-D-R-I-X. And the overview page for Jimi Hendrix will pop up. You see there's an image over here, some quick facts. And if you look over here on the right side, it shows you all of the different resources that this database has available. So the featured content is this main article on the first page. There are 10 different biographies, five images, nine audio files, 195 magazines, 399 news articles, one academic journal, and one website. We are going to look at the featured content, which is this article here. So everyone click on read more. And when you open up a resource, you get some tools. The first tool is right up here. You can resize the text and make it smaller or larger. I'm going to make mine larger and easier to read. There's also a listen button that you can click on and have the whole article read aloud to you. On the right hand side is your toolbar and we are going to talk about and practice with some of these tools today. So the first tool is send to Google Drive. So if you didn't have time to read through this article right now, you could just click send to Google Drive and it will send it over to your drive and put it in a folder and save it for later. And it'll send it to yours because you are logged in as yourself. Next, we're going to practice highlighting. So as you read through the article and see important information, you can go ahead and highlight it. So early life, born on November 27th, 1942. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to put it in yellow. You see that you can choose different highlight colors. If you want to color code, you're highlighting for different reasons. I'm just going to use old fashioned yellow today. Let's see if another important, important date jumps out at me. Okay, he went to New York in 1964. So you go ahead and practice copying and highlighting that in whatever color you would like. Once you're done with all your highlights, you can look up here in your toolbar. Click on highlights and notes. And it's made a note card for you of everything you've highlighted. The last tool we're going to look at is the citation tool. That's right here at the very top. Go ahead and click citation tools. Citations are how you show where you got the information that you are using in your research project. So we use some information from this for our project that we're going to turn in. So we need to tell where we got it from. And that is generated right here. Make sure that the format says MLA. That's the format you use in school. There are some other ones there, but MLA is the format for schools. And then you can download it. You can copy and paste it into a document. Or you can click export and send it straight into your Google Drive. 